So let's rewrite sine 7b, cos 7b as a single trig ratio using double angle identities. And looking at 2 sine x cos x, that's the closest thing we have over here to sine 7b cos 7b. But I don't have a 2 here. I have a, a 1, a hidden 1 multiplying sine 7b cos 7b. And in order to transform this into that, or to use this expression, I, I want 2 sine x cos x. So how can I make that happen without a 2 there? Well, I can rewrite the 1 as half times 2. Think about it, because if I take the 1 half and I multiply it by 2, I get 2 over 2, that's just 1, right? So that's perfectly allowed. I had a 1 there, so yeah, I have now half times 2 instead. Times this sine 7b cos 7b. Okay? Now, this is looking closer to what we had there. 2 sine x cos x. But instead of x's, I have 7b's. So what I'll do is I'll just say, okay, x is equal to 7b. So, rewriting. I have half times 2 sine x cos x. I'll just write in a different color, I guess, just for fun. For those visual students that like color coding. <laughs> There's some of them out there, right? Um, and 2 sine x cos x, I already know that that's equivalent to sine 2x, so I can just write that instead. And the half comes as well, so it's half times sine 2x. But I don't want an x anymore. I just want b's, right? We started with 7b, so I'm going to just take that and plug it into x. So that will be equal to half sine 2 times 7b. And that's the same as half times set, sorry, half times sine 14b. It's kind of squished over here, so I'm going to write it over there. That's not a 6, by the way, it's a b. I know that my 6s look like b's, and my b's look like 6s. So that's it. 